the more beautiful she is, the more you should want to approach her. It's not the other way around. What's wrong with you? You got, when they're that hot, every cell in your body is telling you something. You ain't listening. It's telling you, go, down, go talk to her. Right, the moment I get invited to the party and I'm in that crowd, now I promise you, I don't care if you're the, the richest man on earth. Yes. Are you watching any of the old school master pickup artists killing it? Not one is killing it. I'm living like they were living when they wrote the book, The Game. You need to feel the vibration of what it's like with what I'm about to tell you next. You need to enjoy picking up women and talking to them especially when they're strangers and beautiful. It's supposed to be enjoyable. Such things as approach anxiety are there as gifts because if you know how to use them, you will have the great, you, you're you about to go in field and have the greatest night of your life approaching. That's how it's supposed to be. The more beautiful she is, the more you should want to approach her. It's not the other way around. What's wrong with you? You got She's so pretty that just saying hi to her, just saying hi to her is a big move. It's nice. And if she says hi back to you, you could run into the bathroom and off sometimes. That's how hot they are. Somebody was like, uh, I, didn't think, I think he said, uh, I didn't think they were real. And what do you think? They were AI or virtual reality? When they're that hot, every cell in your body is telling you something. You ain't listening. It's telling you, go, down, go talk to her. It's like you're just trying to just eat and she stands up. After everything I said, she ain't shit. That's true. Okay? But if that's true, you ain't shit either. Keep that in mind. Whatever you put out bounces right back. It's true. She ain't you ain't either. So knowing you ain't shit, but you're going out there doing everything you can to be She's doing that too, so respect that. Respect that knowing it's an illusion. You learn to respect people's illusions because you know the reality very clearly. And the reality is not this. The reality is spiritual being, spiritual being, sending, sending information, receiving information, sending information, having the same type of experience. That's the reality. As close to it as I can get. The illusion is AZD, IMC Nation, student, so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. Ready? Respect that illusion. That's the game. In fact, contribute to it. Contribute to her beauty. Contribute to the moment. Contribute to the magic. But be detached from it so you could laugh at it like the Joker and just... I'm not, I'm, I don't buy it in. And yeah, you look beautiful and I want to smell you. I want to kiss you. I want to touch you. I want to do everything to you. And when they come up and they shake their hand and we're in a restaurant, but this ain't real. This is fake. Take it all away. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so that hits. So now we have to learn how to talk to the woman, as I've been saying. First, we have to remember that she is there as a gift. I whisper to her soul. That's a language that I use. Right? I said, hey, come here. Huh? Me? What? What? No one's talked to me. Come here. You're a spirit inside. Come here. You see this body thing? It ain't real. Just like the illusion. It's, it's an illusion. This is what's real. You feel this? Okay. Now, we're going to go play that, that illusion real quick. Okay? Because we're in it. But we're going to have a conspiracy as two souls. And my conspiracies are on a soul level, not a body level. It's the who has a boyfriend who's working at straight. So I think who I listen, who I think is so beautiful, so fine. I would I would worship her in a past life. You get that? At a time when women were real women and men were real men and real warriors existed and real existed. And I was walking around with a sword and my life could be ending tonight. A woman like that, I would worship her if she was mine. That is the truth. Now she's walking a miniskirt. It's straights bending over. Thank you. Oh, I have a boyfriend. I see something else. Which story do you want me to tell, lady? Lady, you, you have a choice. Which storyline do you want me to run on you? The straight girl or the woman that I can worship? 
in order for that one to happen, you must see me as the warrior that I am. And I'm going to now begin my interaction internally like that. And that's the secret of when they say he is black, he is dragon blood when I walk in. All the vampires go, werewolves look, everyone looks. They, they know someone walked in, someone with an aura walked in. The master of the masters of this walked in. And I'm about to take your women. And when they whisper, they say, well, who is that? They go, he is dragon blood. And they have to explain what that is to them. They say, he's, he, you know, the oldest vampire, he predates them by millions of years. He's so old, so wise. He can see from every angle. He's standing there and he's looking through everyone's eyes. That's what he's doing. His body is standing there and he's viewing from everyone's perspective. He's dragon blood. We start walking to the table. We sit down. I've already clocked and measured the interest, the disinterest, the alphas, the betas. I know what's happening. And I'm ahead 70 to 100 moves. And I sit down and the game has begun. And by the end, when I get that conversation, which is what I need, I begin to run the storyline I just told you. Hey, you know, in a past life, I would have slayed a dragon for you I would have walked up and tied your 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 scarf to my sword to my land, lance and I would have won the tournament no matter what that's who you are to me and that's who I am see it's odd to find each other in this time space what are you doing what are you, what are you, you're a waitress here oh my god I think I showed up late to this if she's listening to this, and if she's not that mutated, I hate men like to the level of extreme. I got this no matter what she says. She'll walk away, and I've hit her so deeply. That's called emotional communication. But I have to feel it. I feel what I said. That's why you feel it. Do you think Arash Divas are? A man born in Persia could be in the United States having multiple incredibly beautiful girlfriends and just killing it everywhere? No. Arash Dibazar wouldn't be able to do that. But the story that Arash Dibazar runs inside is not Arash Dibazar from Iran. There's a lot of Arashes from Iran that are older than me, younger than me around here. None of them are here. Why? Because they're running the Matrix program given to them, the society, no matter what they say. I'm living in another dimension, I keep telling you. And now I'm learning how to bring that. And that's the power. If I can walk in and take everyone's woman, and I can for sure, then you gonna have to, you're going to have to acknowledge that. That's a jujitsu you've never seen before. That's going to walk in, and I don't care what style master you are, you're going to get defeated in this game. Okay? So much magic in this, right? To live in this world of fantasy. And to have the power to turn that illusion into a reality. Right? So we can do many things in the proving ground, but you know you could have a lot of money until you meet Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather has a lot of money until he meets uh, Saudi Arabia king and prince, and Saudi Arabia king and prince has a lot of money until he meets the Rothschilds. And it's like, there's just, where are you and I gonna fall on that scale? Huh, I'm rich? You wanna play the game at that level? Huh? out of here. Either make me the Rockefellers or I'm not playing this game. Let me go find a lane that I can go to the top so then it doesn't matter who you are. If I walk in, you could be a that or a that. You could be a that or a that. You could be the Prince of Saudi. You could be the Rockefeller. If I walk into your party because you've invited me, that's the invitation of the vampire, we also have to be invited into a person's world. So we make ourselves so gracious, so beautiful, so smooth that they invite you. The moment I get invited to the party and I'm in that crowd, now I promise you, I don't care if you're the, the richest man on earth. If your woman sees me in your environment and I occupy that, then I'm of the level of her dating me because I'm going to carry myself higher than you. And she's going to know it in a second because she owns you and I'm going to own her. Okay. All right, Jay Gurudev, see you guys tonight.